There he is, our national emblem, the bald eagle. He's also our most famous wild fisher. And it might surprise you to know that there's another wild fisher right here in the Susquehanna Valley. And he's so well hidden that Patty Taylor had to go to Massachusetts to learn of his existence. She writes, Dear Jack, I was on vacation in Massachusetts. When I went outside to walk my dog, my hosts warned me that I needed to be careful because it was the time of day the fisher cats were out. Do we get them down here? Yep, Patty, fishers are well established in Pennsylvania, or should I say re-established. The fisher is not a cat. He's a member of the weasel family, but no, he doesn't fish. That would be his semi-aquatic weasel cousins, the river otter, and the smaller mink. Bob Hench of Hershey sent us this great shot of a mink froggin. Here's a photo of a fisher feeding on deer carcasses at a research bait site. Size-wise, think of a fox with shorter legs. And here's another shot of a fisher with a raccoon for size comparison. In an effort to bring these native predators back to Penn's woods in the mid-1990s, Frostburg University and the Pennsylvania Game Commission teamed up to release 190 fishers in the northern tier counties. Since then, the fisher population has increased dramatically. Sam Raynell of Lebanon sent me a couple of photos of fishers that he surprised with his trail cam near Liverpool in Perry County. Being big weasels, fishers are accomplished predators, but don't let that keep you in the house, Patty. They could be dangerous to some of the toy dog breeds if left unattended, but they're no threat to hikers and dog walkers. Just count yourself lucky if you see one. I'm Jack Hubley, News 8. Fishers were native to Pennsylvania when colonists arrived, but they were eliminated due to overharvest and deforestation.